Bob talked about <clears throat> honoring our potential to grow and not to die. And um, which means that, you know, for him suffering a loss that feels unacceptable. And um, this is something that, again, uh, we've been talking about, you know, together. And I've been bugging Keith, I think, for at least the last year about this, is that, 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 that most of our growth um, is a result of, of a loss for us. Um, that means something that didn't work out well. Uh, a decision that we made didn't work out well. It could be uh, getting fired from a job. Uh, or getting demoted, or it could be um, a loss um, uh, of a dear friend um, uh, to COVID or something. And, and, and so that, that loss is something about that loss that gives us the, 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 the chance to kind of reassess who we are, what we're thinking about. And it, it's just so interesting for all of us. I mean, we, we do this, we do this, um, uh, what we call the uh, the lifeline in our in our program, and we have people you know tell us about life um, landmark events that were in their life, and you know again we you know we've done this all over the world, and you ask people in these landmark events you have these positive landmark events and you have negative landmark events, which of these has the greatest impact on your growth, and it's like it's universal, right? People say, oh, I learned the most right, from the loss or for, for that negative landmark event that usually is a loss of some sort, defined broadly loss, and you, you, that loss. And, um, and so when, when Bob talks about, um, you know, the potential to grow and not die is that we're always, we're always, we're always, when we want, when we're, we want to kind of stretch ourselves, do things, we know that loss is there and it's just going to happen. Right? We know that loss is going to happen. And what keeps us in place, for most of us, what keeps us in place is the fear of that loss. Yeah. 